uh, we got 2x3 plus 7x2 plus 5x plus 1 and we're all going to divide that by 2x plus 1. We highlight the first part. What is 2x3 divided by 2x? Anybody? x squared. That's the division part done. So it's the DMS drop, division, multiply, subtract, drop. Now subtract can't be taken literal. It means change the signs. If it's already subtract, it will turn it into a plus. So don't take it too literal, okay? So it's multiply next. 2x cubed plus 1x squared. Now what do we do now, guys? And I get 6x squared. Do the drop and we get 5x. 2x into 6x squared. How many times are we looking at this time? 3x. The x is cancel. 6x divided by 2 is 3x. Multiply it out. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. Once again, take it away. And what do we get? Now bring this down. Okay. 2x plus 1 take away, uh, divided by 2x plus 1. Plus 1. And let's we'll finish it off then, isn't it? 2x plus 1 minus minus 0. Okay. Alrighty. 6x cubed, we're doing 33, minus 17x squared, plus 27x, take away 20, all divided by 3x minus 4. Alright, so what do we get here guys? 6xxx divided by 3x, what do we get? 2x squared. Multiply it out and what you get? 2x yeah. Minus 8x squared. Change the signs. Minus and a plus. What's 17 minus 17 plus 8? Minus 9x squared. Now, minus 9x squared divided by 3x. So minus 9xx divided by 3x will get me what? Minus 3x. Multiply it out. Minus 3x by minus 3x. Minus 3x multiplied by minus 4. Once again, change the signs. Plus and a. So what's going to be there then? Drop down there. 20. And what's 15x divided by 3x? 5, yeah? And what, do, what happens there? Plus 15x minus 20, minus and a plus, and then the answer is zero. Very good. Who got that one out? Thirty-five, yeah. So what's unique about thirty-five? Just, it's missing the part to the end, isn't it? Would everybody agree? There's usually an x cubed, an x squared, an x, and then a regular number. This one doesn't do that. Okay? So we're like, oh, what's going on? So let's try this out. Uh, x cubed divided by x. x squared, yeah. Multiply it out. x cubed plus 4x squared, subtract, minus, with x, minus 3x squared divided by x, minus 3x, multiply it out, minus 3x squared, minus 12x, and then what happens? Zero, and you're done. Okay, before you... What happens with these questions is, usually we get what's called a cubic equation. A cubic equation is an equation that has, a cubic equation is an equation that has an x cubed part, an x squared part, an x part, and then a regular number at the end. Well, it's not always guaranteed, okay? 
So in question 41, we have 4x3, no bother. But we don't have an x squared part, do we? So we add in 0x squared. Then we add in minus 13x minus 6. Is that all right? Now, we're going to do what you did earlier. We're going to do long division. Okay? And in the long division, what we're going to do is divide it by x minus 2. Now, the difference between the long division you did earlier and the long division we're doing now is you only ever take the first part into consideration. So what's 4x cubed divided by x? Yeah, you've done the division part. Now, what do you do after the division part? So multiply your 4x squared by the two of them. And what you get? Yeah. 4x cubed and? Now, you're going to take away. So this one's a takeaway. This one's already takeaway. So what happens? Turns to a plus. What you do next? Yeah, you drop it. Now go again, Dylan. Ax squared divided by x. You, you already divided, so what's next? So multiply Ax by x minus 2. Ax squared, yeah. Multiply it by x, and then multiply it by minus 2. Yeah. 8x squared minus 16x, okay? Now what happens then? Now before that, minus and, because it's already a minus, so what you get then? Plus 3x minus 6. Now how many times does 3x get divided by x? 3x divided by x. Multiply it out. One's a minus, one's a plus, and then your answer is no remainder left. You're done. All right, pause it here. Charlie, I'm out there for a minute. All right, uh, you have 8x cubed. The way I do it is I put in a 0x squared and a 0x and a minus 125. Some of you apparently don't need to do it that way. So if you recall, if it's not broken, don't fix it. All right, Isaac, 8x cubed divided by 2x. So man, 4x squared. Yep, multiply it out then. Plus AX cubed, yeah, then. Change the signs. So 20X squared, right? Bring down the 0X. What you get here? 20XX divided by 2X is, what well, he said, 10X. Multiply it out, what you get? Minus, yeah, so multiply by 10 first, so you get 10x squared minus 50x. And what happens? And you get 50x minus, finally, what's 50x divided by 2x? Plus 25, then what happens there? Minus 50x, oh sorry, 50x minus 125, then change it to a plus, plus minus and you end up with zero. All right, we all know how to divide. What is this full exercise about? Full exercise is about division, would you agree with that? Now, if I, gave, if I was to give you a question, yes. Huh? Lads, volume, all right? If I gave you a cuboid like this, sorry, if I, yeah, that's awful, right? If I said the height of a cuboid was 10 and the the bottom was 2 and 3, what would be the volume of this, can anybody tell me? 
Who got 60? Hands up, how'd you get 60? You multiply 10 by 3 by 2. Is that okay? You got 60. What's the area of the base? Awesome. So you didn't really need the 2 and the 3 if you knew the area of the base was 6. If I told you the volume was 60, how would you find out the area of the base if I didn't tell you? Divide it by 10. In this question, what do you think you need to do to find the volume of the, uh, what do you think you need to do to find the volume of the base? Volume divided by height. In the same way you did 60 divided by 10. Does that make sense? That's how you do question 48. If I was to give you 47, what would you do here? If I told you the area was 40 and the width was 10, how would you find the length? 40 divided by 10 is 4. So you're going to divide this number by same deal, isn't it? Okay, so even the ones that don't look the same are the same. In question 46, do you know what also they're asking you to do is you get an answer. Remember we did long division earlier. I'll show you. The, see this answer up here we got earlier on. All that they're asking you to do in question 46 is Whatever your answer is, see if you can factorize it. Does that make sense? So in question 46, all that they're asking you for is that, in question 46, they're saying is, whatever your answer is, see if you're able to factorize it. Does that make sense as well? Okay. So it's long division again. It's the yellow one divided by the the blue one, and then whatever your answer is, factorize it. Does that make sense? All right. What do you think of 45? Same thing again, isn't it? Blue divided by yellow gives you uh, green. Write down the values of A, B, and C. If the answer was, uh, for argument's sake, if the answer was, give me a second. There we go. If the answer was 1x squared plus 2x plus 3, what would what be the A, B, and C value? A, B, 1, B, B, 2, and C would be 3. And then you just lob it in and see what happens. Okay? So you guys tonight... Oh, you're grand now. So you guys are going to do, I suppose, 38, 40, 42. 38, 40, 42. Then you're going to do 44... 45, 46, 47, good man, 47, it's 48 tough as well, oh you're doing 48 as well, 48, 48 and 51, okay, you have a bit of time in class now anyway, so you're good to go, give me a sec, there you go.